We are out here in the ICS Performance Evaluation Lab where we want to talk a little bit about cutting techniques. These techniques aren't necessarily for above ground cutting like we will show you here, but will become very helpful when cutting in the trench. Be sure to inspect what you will be cutting and identify any obstructions such as neighboring utilities. Always run the saw at full power and have the chain running before engaging into the cut. When possible, keep the saw body up against the pipe while cutting from top to bottom. Ergonomically, this is much better on the operator's back than trying to cut from the bottom up. However, this may require you to address some pinching if the pipe begins to shift. I will show you four different ways to minimize pinching when cutting in the trench. In any case, the fastest cutting will be to cut through the pipe wall, run down the outside wall, and then cut the inside wall nearest you last. The slowest parts of the cut will be from the top, and also the bottom due to the amount of material being cut. The first cutting technique to prevent pipe pinching is local excavation. This is when you dig under the cut line, leaving material under the middle section of the pipe between the two cuts. The second cutting technique is using a backhoe with a strap. Applying a small amount of upward pressure on the pipe will help prevent pinching. The third technique is to place blocking under the pipe. This will help prevent pinching if the pipe begins to sag. The fourth and final technique is actually a cutting method where the saw is plunged through the pipe, leaving a small tab on the top. This tab will help stabilize the pipe throughout the cut. Now I'll go ahead and demonstrate. I have a hydraulic saw here, which has all the same advantages as the gas saw, along with a few more. Some of these are additional guide bar lengths of 10, 15, 20, and 25 inches. It also has increased torque and no fumes in the trench. A few others are submersible capabilities, as well as the utilization of the pipe clamp. The pipe clamp can be used on pipes from 4 to 12 inches in diameter, and also holds the weight of the saw for the operator. It will also help guide the saw through the cut. I'll now go ahead and show you how to cut with the pipe clamp. Here is a quick review of the key topics of this chapter. For more information on ICS training or products, visit icsdiamondtools.com or call customer service at 800-321-1240.